Wix Studio versus Webflow complete comparison. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you complete comparison between Wix Studio and Webflow. So let's get into it. We're going to be discussing all their features, their pricing and their usability. So first let's go ahead and select Wix Studio. Wix Studio is Wix's new platform where you can easily create amazing looking AI easily where you can create amazing looking website, whether with AI or not with ease. So let's get into it. So using it is very simple. You just simply click on start creating button right here or this one right here. And you just simply create an account. You can even log in with your Google account or Facebook, or you can select email and whichever one you choose depends on you. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with Google. Next, they just simply ask you some of these questions. What's the name of your agency? How many people do we work at? What is the role? You can skip these as well, but it, you know, it's good to go ahead and add this information. So, so over here, how many people work at your agency? Just me whatever you want you can put it over here what is the role and i'll just select project manager and click on continue now you can go ahead and create a site all right design with a template or you can explore the workspace set up projects manage teams and then you know go ahead and do that it depends on you but for now let's go ahead and click on start creating let's go ahead and create a site now over here you select the template that you want so you have a bunch of different templates you can see over here on the left hand side you have different categories, uh, different types, different industries, different features, different styles as well. So you can select and go through whichever one you want. You can see over here, there are so many different templates to choose from and they just keep loading and loading. So let's go ahead and find something that would work best for us. So let's say we want to create a portfolio type of website, right? So let's see if we have it over here in categories or in types. So over here we have portfolio. We're going to click on portfolio here we go so we have a bunch of different options so now we just select which one we want so let's say so here you have a bunch of different options to choose from right so there are some like these one the blank ones uh, where there's not a lot of information in them like you know background colors or anything like that they're just blank pre-made templates and then you can go ahead and edit them out later so you can see company site wireframe portfolio wireframe so we have different ones, right? So you can choose whichever one you want. Let's say we select this one, right? Or this one, the digital marketing agency or creative agency. We select this one. We select on view to see how it looks like. We click on it. And this is how the website looks. We can see the overall design is very simple, very minimalistic, decent colors. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go with this. And then you can just simply click on edit template. It'll open up the editor over here on another tab, as you can see right here in Wix Studio. And you can quickly go ahead and start editing out the website. And this is what the editor looks like. So over here, uh, you have the entire view of the entire website. And on the left hand side, you can see all of your options right here, such as layers, you have pages. You have global selections, you have these fonts and colors, the typography, uh, you have the media where you can upload different media, your own media and select them as well as you go to Shutterstock or Unsplash to find stock photos or images or videos. You have App Market and you have my business options over here. So as you can see, very simple, very straightforward over here. Whenever you hover your mouse on a section, that section get highlighted, uh, which indicates that you can go ahead and edit that section right here. So you can see over here, these are like section grids, right? These are cells. These are basically categories where people can click on them and, you know, they'll expand. So basically, if we click on, let's say this section right here, right? This is the cell, I believe. And in it, we have repeater, item, line, and stack, all right? Now, this line, if we click on these three dots, we can see that there's not a whole lot of options over here, but I don't see the that option. But, you know, I think you can go ahead and change that as well. So, for example, let's say if we want to, you know, change it or add something, uh, we'll click on this plus button over here. This will give us a bunch of different options. Now, I want to change it to a button of type so I'll just simply come over here on the left hand side you can see you have a bunch of different options uh, here you have the button option as well 
So what you can do is you can change it into a button. So that way when people click on it, they'll be taken over to that specific page where we have the web design options or the web design portfolio or SEO, whatever. So you can change it to that. And to do that, we just simply click on the plus button and select it. You can even go with a menu or search. That way people can click on it as well. Container is also pretty good. This is a container as well. And if we click over here, we have different sections and also have media as well. But a button is much, much better. So if we click on, let's say which one, which button we want. These are the basic buttons. Then we have the style buttons, but I don't think we have that yet. So we'll just go with something like this. It has round corner, so it would look pretty good. So here we go. I think this is it. We can go ahead and put it anywhere we want. I accidentally added two of these. So I'll just get rid of them, get rid of one of them. We'll just simply click on the button and click on delete, hit the delete button and it will be gone now. But as you can see, I've added the get start button on all of them. That way people can go ahead and, you know, see more information, which is pretty cool. This is actually really, really good. Now we can go ahead and change the name of these buttons as well. So for example, if I click on it, if I double click on it, click on the button, it opens up right here. We can click on the change text to more info, right? We can go ahead and do this. And we can select this one as well. Does double click or triple click and it'll open up and you can just paste them like that. Now we can just simply go ahead and click on the button, double click it to select it. And then we have this option called link. We can go ahead and link a specific page right here. So over here, if we click on pages, you will find it over here. If you have not, you know, created a page, what you can do is come over here onto the left hand side, click on pages right here. Here you can click on add new page right here and here you can add a standard blank page or design one generate unlimited pages whatever you choose uh, we'll go with the dynamic page and here we can add like a preset right if you want you can add like a preset that way whenever you add a page all of the pages are going to be of that uh, preset so let's go with this one right here it's a portfolio one so it'll be good we want the dynamic pages to be implemented on all of our categories web design seo media ppc whatever you want right here we go so here we have one of the pages it's added we'll go ahead and link it as well so as you can see it looks pretty good but we'll close it for now these are all the information that is added into the page so here we go so here what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go back to our home page and here we'll click on the button click on the link and choose a page here we should be able to find them here we go we have the portfolio dynamic we can go ahead and change the name of these pages to whatever we want so we'll go ahead and select this one and we can choose whether we want to open it up in a new tab or and then we can just simply click on advanced if you want you can go ahead and click on this advanced seo settings and you can change it to whichever you want we'll go with this one since that is the recommended for now click on done now whenever someone clicks on this button they'll be taken over to the that has all the information of the web design so really simple this is how you do it after that you can just simply go ahead and publish it out and yeah everything is very simple very straightforward now let's go ahead and take a look at webflow let's go ahead and sign up and click on start building so here is the dashboard and here what you can do is you can just simply click on new site very simple nothing too crazy and here you can select from a template now they also have a bunch of different options when it comes to template although i would say that voix has a little bit better template just in my opinion but you know everyone's different so just simply go ahead and select any template you want some of them are paid such as this one it costs 79 dollars this one is 129 79 some are free the free ones aren't that good looking i'll say that uh, but you know it's everyone's there has their own opinion so let's go ahead and select this one and we'll click on create site and take a look at the builder of this one as well wix had a pretty simple builder uh, everything's laid out very simple nothing too crazy let's take a look at the web flows all right so here is the website builder for webflow now it's very similar to Wix, but I think it's much more well laid out because over here on the left hand side, you get exactly the same options. Uh, if you come over here, compare it, plus icon, pages, layers, and all of that, same over here. Add icon, pages, and instead of layers, they have navigation, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. Everything is exactly the same and exactly the same. You just simply go ahead and hover your mouse over onto each section. It gets highlighted and you can go ahead and edit it out. 
if you want to edit something you just simply click on it this little button pops up where you can click on show all settings and it'll open up over here on the right hand side so i think it's a little bit more cleaner because uh, in the wix studio if you click on something it has this bar and you have to go in that bar instead of having it over here is much better you can toggle it on and off but i think they have a dedicated version of this one right here so as you can see right here click on it opens up over here but yeah it's very similar to wix both of them are uh but yeah let's take a look at the pricing on both of them so that you can go ahead and determine because both of them are exactly the same thing now webflow's pricing is like so as you can see there's three plans there are starter which is zero dollars per month which is free then we have the core which is 19 dollars per month then we have the growth which is 49 dollars per month and each of them they have their own uh, respected features in the starter you can create up to one seed which is maximum numbers of members seed your workspace support so you can have one other person working with you you have two unhosted sites so you can't have a special website for that you have to upgrade to the uh, most popular core or you have to upgrade your plan and then you it is for agency or freelancers as guests and you can have two free commenters and then you have the paid for plan here you can have three seats 10 unhosted sites custom code uh, code export basic user role agency freelancers and 10 commenters over here so you can see you have a bunch of different options to choose from if we take a look at wix studios you can see there have the basic plan which starts at 12 dollars per month in it you get 10 gigabytes of media storage three site collaborators which is you know uh, you can say hosts or seats so you have more seats over here in the basic one because in the basic of uh, workflow you can have three in wakes you have three as well but it costs 12 dollars and it costs 19 dollars for for webflow so keep that in mind then we have the standard 20 dollars per month then we have the plus 32 dollars per month all which is way cheaper than 49 so keep that in mind and in it you get a bunch of different options 10 sites collaborators 10,000 cms items site analytics one free domain for a year you can accept payments priority supports and 120 gigabytes of storage whereas here let me see whereas over here i don't see any indication of storage or anything so i assume that it's either unlimited or you know they'll later on tell you about it but for now i don't see anything over here so keep that in mind but yeah so these are the payment plans for both of these websites uh you can choose whichever one you want and let me know in the comment sections which one you choose so those are all the things that you needed to know about both wix and webflow so thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye